Hey guys, this is Bex and I'm going to show you how to create a Google form if you're trying to get sample requests. This is an easy way to do it. Um, you don't have to be messing around with people private messaging you all the time or commenting on Facebook or your blog to get them or emailing you. If you are not that familiar with Google Forms and Google Drive, as long as you have a Gmail account, you have a Google Drive. So you can find it here. Here's my Gmail account. And if you click here, it'll come up. So I've already done that. And you want to create on your Google Drive. I'm in Google Drive. Click Create. And then click Form. And, uh, oh, I almost forgot about this. You can click your favorite little... Uh, theme or background or whatever. I don't usually choose this one, but why not? Let's choose that one today. And you want to start up here where it says untitled form. You do not want your readers to be seeing something that says untitled form at the request, I mean at the top. So put in something like sample nail wrap requests. And then here I usually type in a little information like this is a request form for Jamboree nail wraps. I'm not going to add, um, type that all in. But I have been typing in um, US addresses only. Sorry for the inconvenience. And I have also been st starting to add um, two requests, uh, two requests per year per person. Uh, for some reason, I had a couple people uh, start to request mail wrap samples two, three, four times every time I would put up a sample uh, link on Facebook or my blog, they would go in and want to get a new sample. So at that point, that's a good time to suggest, hey, you're loving your Jamberry nail wrap so much. Have you ever thought about hosting a party? So that would be what I would say. So if you're asking them to fill out this form so you can send them a sample, basically you're just going to need to get their information, um, name, help text. This would be, if it was a confusing question, you could give them some uh, possible answers, but this is not a confusing question. Hopefully they just need to type their name in. You need to click on the question type menu, this drop down menu here, and just click text. All right. And then... I would make it a required question. Click done. All right, you're going to um, add another item, another thing for them to fill in. Click on the drop down menu to have them get another text question. And then what I usually do is say address one. You want to make sure the question type is text again. Require it. Done add item. Okay, so I usually do address to a, a street. I'm sorry. I usually do name, address one, address to city, state, zip code. Then I actually do uh, something along the lines of, you know, do you have any questions for me about Jamberry? The nail wraps, hosting a party, consulting, please enter them here and I will get back to you. And then if it's this type of question, I usually click and change it to paragraph text because their answer will be a bit longer. Click done. That doesn't have to be required. And then the new thing I've been doing is asking them for their birthday. So you can ask them to... Um, type in their birthday and that you might be sending them something fun or get a fun Jamberry nail wrap deal on their birthday. All right, so now when you're done, see how this is checked off? Show link to submit another response. You do not want to have that checked off at the end because you're all done. So uncheck it. Excuse me for one second. I'm just going to go back up here and just so I don't get confused later for me that I'm demonstrating this for you, so I'm going to add that. All right.
right, then we'll say send form in a second. But you can also check your form, see how it looks by clicking view live form. All right, and then if I was really done, I'd have all that name, address, address, you know, one and two, city, state, zip. All right, so that's what it looks like. I, and if you approve, you think, I'm great, I'm all set. Um, then you can send the form to yourself. You, it's already been saved in Drive. The reason you might want to send the form is, again, just so you can verify it. Or if you want to send it, like I have two Gmail accounts, so I might want to send it to my other Gmail account here and send. Now this link, this is what you will need to have for people to get to your form later. So, all right, let me show you an example of that. So let's just send that. I'll show you another place you can get that link. Click view live form again, and here it is. So if you're on your Facebook page, and you want people to fill out this form, um, that's, you need to cut and paste that URL. And um, that can be used also, you can put that on your blog. Um, there are ways to link, link up and stuff. All right, so I hope that helps. Um, if I can do anything else, help you fill out your, create your Google Forms, let me know. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks.